Hello and welcome to our third video in the TP to WP instructional series. Here I'm going to show you how to import the XML file that you've made by using the TP to WP conversion service. I'm going to show you how to import that into WordPress. So here's our WordPress demo site. You can see in looking at the address bar, I have this set up at a IP address. This is at a temporary domain. I'm using the Bluehost hosting service for this demo site. And we have instructions on how to set up WordPress with Bluehost. They make it a pretty simple process. So this is what WordPress looks like by default now. We're using the default 2015 theme. And our Hello World post is up right here. This is something that uh, comes as the default post on any new WordPress installation. It's just so that there's something to look at. The site isn't totally empty when you first get it set up. I'm going to pop back here to the dashboard. So just like the back end of, uh, of TypePad, same thing, they call it the dashboard as well. So if I go into plugins here on our demo site, I'm going to take these default plugins that are installed. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Let's get these out of the way for our installation. Now we're down to no plugins installed. Now I'm going to download or add the tp to wp plugin. So we do that here in the plugin section. I clicked on add new. You can find that in the sidebar as well. Now I'm going to go up here to the search bar. Just type in tp to wp. You'll get two results. One is our old plugin. You can see that was downloaded 19,000 times at the time of this video. But we want this new plugin with the same uh, blue and orange logo here that you've seen uh, on the site and in these videos. So just click install now to get that installing. And we've got to confirm that here. You'll see a pop up window like this. Hit OK. In relatively short order, that will be installed. Click activate plugin. And there we go, the plugin is installed. And now you'll see at the bottom of the left menu, the TP to WP importer. So if I click over here, I'm brought to our status check window. The status check provides you with a few things to check off, uh, your memory limit, your maximum execution time, a few other technical elements that need to be in place in order for the importer to work. On most hosts, you're probably going to get uh, something just like this. Uh, our maximum execution time, we've actually tested Bluehost to work just fine with this execution time of 30 seconds, even though we do recommend 180 seconds as it says here, 30 seconds seems to work fine for most installations. Ideally we'd like to see that increase, but we're going to ro roll with it for now. Here the, however we are getting a, a failure at permalink structure. And what does it say here? It says your site is using the default WordPress permalink structure. We recommend changing this to this structure. So here we've got a bunch of percent signs and slashes and so on. But if you just copy all of this, you don't have to know what it means. Just copy that. And then let's go over to settings and permalinks. That's where we change that structure. And you can see the default is selected just like our plugin said. If I select custom structure and paste this in, there we go. This is going to provide us with the same URL structure, very similar to what we had in TypePad. And that way, our old addresses are going to more easily redirect to the new addresses that we have here in WordPress. Okay, so now I've got that in place. Let me navigate back to the importer. And there we go. Our status check is now giving us uh, five passing grades here. We've still got that warning on maximum execution time, but like I said, Usually it, it works with this. We recommend 180, but 30 may be passable for us. So let's give it a try. If I click over here on step two, import content, I met with this page. Pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the file that I created, tp to wp. Here's that file I created. It's an XML file. I'm gonna choose this. And I'm gonna select upload file and import. Now this screen may vary depending on how many authors you have on your own site. In my case, I just have my name, Cord Bloomquist, showing up. It says import author Cord Bloomquist or create a new username. Maybe this, uh, this could be misspelled or abbreviated or somehow not exactly how you want the name to appear in the export file. You can correct that here. 
or if you have an existing user you can you can assign that. I'm going to go ahead and let WordPress create this new author. So I'm just going to hit submit. Now it may take a moment for this page to load because yes, it's going through a lot of information. It looks like some of these posts have duplicates. This is probably because of the demo information that I imported for this uh, for our TypePad site. Uh, most likely you're not going to run into these. Maybe if you have a few posts that are named exactly the same thing, uh, you'll, you'll run into this problem. Uh, but most likely not. Um, so it says, all done importing your content. Next step is to import attachments. So we can either click on the link here or click on the import attachments link at the top. Here's our third step. Now here we're asked for domains and subdomains again. Uh, if you were with me when we were watching the uh, the second video, or when I was making the second video and you were watching it, uh, we had to gather up our domain names from TypePad. Uh, thankfully, I've kept that tab open so we can easily grab those. So let's navigate over here. Here are our map domains in TypePad. It's showing me both the, the root domain and the map domain. I'm going to copy all of that. Go back to our WordPress back end. And I'm going to click paste. I'm just going to correct this to take out the space. Put these on separate lines. I'm going to eliminate that little trailing slash. And now I'm going to press update domains. Now both of my domains are in here. WordPress knows to import any files that are at either of these addresses. And with everything ready to go, I'm just going to click import remaining posts. You scroll down, you're going to see work start to happen down here and our work record is going to keep track of the uh, the last 1000 messages as we say down here and now you can see oh we're already getting a, a yellow yellow item you can see this is flagged because now oh, there it goes it was a file from amazon so it was something being hosted outside of the site uh, that's done on purpose we really only want to import the files that you uploaded to typepad the files and images that you own uh, most likely you've linked to uh, PDFs or videos or MP3 files or images or a whole variety of things that aren't part of your site and we want to keep those as external links rather than importing all those things. It's not only going to save you a lot of space in your new WordPress site, but it's also going to keep you from importing things that don't belong to you, which is uh, nice. It's always nice to be respectful of copyright. So now this is going to work. It's good to keep this tab open while this work is happening. But I can navigate back to our other tab that shows the front end of WordPress. And if I reload this, ah, there you go. You can see our first post from our TypePad site. And everything's come over, including even the formatting on uh, noting, noting the copyright on one of these public domain images. And look at this. It's this great vintage mugshot. And if I click here, uh, open image and new tab, you can see that this is at our WordPress address. There it is at the IP address. So our file has been imported and is now in the WordPress uploads folder. So I'm going back to my demo site. You can see everything is being brought in here. And if I check back in on import attachments, there it is. It's going along, counting up the posts. And by the end of this process, all of your images are brought over from uh, TypePad along with any other files such as MP3s, videos, PDFs, anything else you might have uploaded. And that's the end of the process. Now you've got all of your post text importing, your files, and your, uh, your permalinks are set to match that on TypePad. And that's just how easy moving from TypePad to WordPress can be using TP to WP.